Ward family, and we're here today at the Manton Center and Bank's lab at Boston Children's Hospital to learn more about the research they're doing on myocardial myopathy. I am. I was born 17 years ago on February 28th, which is celebrated as rare disease day around the world. I live with my tubular myopathy, a rare disease. Will was diagnosed with myotubular myopathy 17 years ago here at Boston Children's Hospital, and he's been participating in research with the Beggs Laboratory ever since. So hi, I'm Alan Beggs, uh, Mark and Will. It's great to see you guys again. I'm so happy to give you a little tour and show you the lab where we've been developing gene therapy and other treatments for myotubular myopathy. So Aaron, this is actually one of our most precious resources here. This is a minus 80 degree freezer that has muscle biopsies from Will and over 1,300 other children with congenital myopathies. And we designed each of these boxes to keep the muscle biopsies that we're able to study to look and see what the effects of genetic mutation. So guys, this is our liquid nitrogen freezer where we keep the cells, muscle cells that we grow to try and study the effects of myopathy myopathy. So let me just show you here. This box has 96 vials of cells in it from boys just like you. So Aaron, what you've been looking at here is skeletal muscle from a boy with myotubular myopathy just like Will. And what we see are very tiny muscle fibers with a blue nucleus right in the center. So Will, we have this fantastic new machine that allows us to sequence 96 DNA samples at a time. And we just place them in these wells here. Put that in our DNA sequencing machine over here. And the next day, the machine will read out the sequences for us to analyze on the computer. So, Rathon, did you find the mutation? Uh, yes, I did, actually. You can see right here that the patient and the mom both have the mutation, but the dad does not. Okay, so here we measure the actual force of a muscle after a drug treatment. So we can take a muscle, we can suspend it in this bath, it has an oxygenated solution, we have electrodes that surround the muscle, it's attached to this force transducer by a wire, and then we're able to measure, to stimulate that muscle and measure the force that that muscle produces. Wow, well, I just love this picture of Simba and Gracie. They're related to the dogs with myotubular myopathy, uh, are weak like you, and they've been so helpful because we've been able to show that replacing the gene makes them stronger. Hopeful that the trials will be successful and that the treatment will be approved as well as accessible for all individuals with MTM. Especially with such a rare disease, the research that you're doing here at Boston Children's Hospital is so important to us.